I uploaded Alex or Moses brain onto chat GPT to create something called as Mozy Microbot. Now what I've basically done is I have pretty much scraped Alex Twitter, uh, some of his YouTube videos and both of his books into chat GPT to create a custom GPT. I will show you the entire process starting from scraping the data to creating the finalized chatbot. Now the purpose of this particular video is to show you how to custom train your AI model on your own data to make sure you have a chat interface where the output that is generated is directly linked to the kind of content that you want. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now first things first, I will be scraping the tweets made by Alex since the big of his Twitter account, right? And the way to do this, there is this particular tool called Twitter Scraper. This is a Chrome extension that you can use. Open Alex Hermosi and make sure you don't use your main Twitter account. It might get banned and there is a good chance. So here it says that Alex joined Twitter on July 2021. So if you click here and you see there is a from date, which will put 2021. July is the seventh month of the year and today this one. A load data rate will put it to 10 because I do not want Twitter to figure out that this is a bot scraping of data. By the way, speaking of Twitter, go follow me on Twitter. That's the only platform where I reply back to all the DMs that I get. If you click on scrape now, it will open up a separate interface where it will basically go to this particular page and it will start scraping the tweets right from the beginning and it will scrape all the tweets. All right, so we have scraped all the tweets made by Alex Sarvozy, and this is how the entire thing looks like. So this is called the analytics panel. Here we got average reply, average retweets, average likes, everything. Now what I'll do is I'll go to text content and then this entire text-based content, I will go ahead and download. Second, we also will need his video content. So I went to his channel. I'll pick some of the videos that he uploaded. In fact, this I wanted to become a millionaire is one of my favorite. So let's say I want to scrape the a transcript of this. So I use this particular extension called Glass. And this is basically a Chrome extension that you can install. And this will go ahead and uh, generate transcript of any YouTube video out of there. So if I click on you this particular this particular YouTube video, you'll see this transcript and summary is something that comes up. So if you click on this arrow, it will find the transcript. You just have to copy this, open up a new doc, paste the transcript right here, right? And uh, then you can just simply go to file, download as docs, PDF, anything that you want. Now you can do the same thing to scrape all the videos transcript that Alex has ever uploaded. I have downloaded both his books, $100 million leads and $100 million offers as PDFs, which I'll be uploading into chat GPT to create what we call as Mozi Microbot. So if I click on open sidebar, click on explore here, here you can create your own GPT. See, I have created something called as VSL GPT as well. Now what I'll do is I'll click on create a GPT here. This is a prompt that I have created. It says act like Alex Modi and help me with business advice. Use the documents I've uploaded in the knowledge section to make them specific. And additionally, I added these some instructions so that the, the advice that we get is crisp and clear. So let's see. It will create the GPT right in front of us. All right, now we just have to wait for the entire GPT to get built. To start shaping up GPT, let me give it a name. So we call it Business Sales Sage Alex. <laughs> you know, let's call it Mozi Microbot. <laughs> oh wow, I love it. Cool, not bad. Um, do you like to do any changes? No, this looks great. All right. Let's go here. By the way, we'll also need to rearrange the kind of tweets that we have uploaded. So I'll go ahead and create a sheet and upload the CSV file where we have downloaded the, the tweets, the script tweets, right? So I'll simply go here and upload the tweets that we just downloaded. Import the data. There we go. All right. So on this content, this is the one that we want pretty much. So I'll copy this entire column and upload it to a new document where I'll call it Alexa Streets. So 
I'll paste it as paste it without formatting. There you go. So 83 pages of Alex Hermos's tweets. And the reason why I went to his tweets is because I I was listening to a podcast where he mentioned that these tweets are basically the raw form of his thought that he has uploaded. Uh, so I'll just use it. Alex Hermosi tweets. Let's call this. And we'll download this entire file as docs again. Right? There's no reason why you prefer docs. This is, you can use PDFs as well. Uh, we'll go to configure here in the Mozi microbot. Uh, I'll, I'll make it a little funny. I'm Alex Hermosi's soul and or it's Alex Hermosi's virtual soul. Virtual soul and my goal is to make real business advice accessible to everyone because y'all have to get rich once <laughs> yeah um for, for now this particular bot i want this to just use the uh, files that i uploaded so tweets let's upload the tweets as that and then i have also uploaded I have downloaded these two books, $100 million leads and offers. And I want to change this to Alex image. All right, <laughs> there you go, Mozi Microbot. So let's test this in action. So I think the tweets are uploaded now. Uh, let's call it, let's ask like, hey, how do I create an offer that people feel stupid to say no to clear communication all right <laughs> simple direct language make it easy to understand it's not that great let me go more specific what's the value equation okay perceived value increased benefit all right so we did not get that good of a result from the last uh, experiment think the ai was getting confused and i changed the prompt a little bit where I mentioned that always use the documents that have uploaded in the knowledge section to make your advice specific and of high value. Now let's say, how do I create uh, an offer that others feel stupid saying no to? Let's see. <laughs> All right, show them the value. All right, okay, this still needs a little bit of work, but I think give me step by step, step instruction on how to go about creating Grand Slam offer. Yeah, so when I put always use the documents I've uploaded. It's hallucinating less and giving more of a specific advice. So let's see whether it gives me a little bit of, uh, you know, more specific or better advice here. Still in the category of one. Okay, that's part of offer. Eframe value proposition. What is the value equation? Let's call this. All right, so yeah, <laughs> now it is getting some better results. It's like dream outcome, increase this, perceived likelihood of achievement, increase this, perceived time delay, decrease this, and perceived effort and sacrifice, decrease this. Can you give me an example of um, Grand Slam offer per in for a local gym owner? Let's see whether it can give me some good examples oh wow this is a pretty good offer okay unique aspects of the offer so it's basically using the you know value equation to write this thing down cool so i would say this is the most perfect thing in the world but it definitely is worth something you know i'll upload some more files to see uh, whether it can give me a little bit more practical business advice apart from the offer so you know, brutally honest advice to my younger and poorer self. Uh, I'll use this one, double my business in 60 days and the 6 million in 60 days. That's definitely a great, uh, these two are really good videos. 
If I wanted to become a millionaire, I would do this full blueprint. And uh, yeah, I'll just upload these four to see what sort of results we get after asking GPT some more specific advice on becoming a million dollar millionaire. So I'm starting uh, a new business. How do I become a millionaire? Let's see. Uh, because I just saw this particular video. Um, if I wanted to become a millionaire thing and solve a real problem, know your customers deeply, create irresistible offers, focus on sales and marketing. Okay, track and optimize, not bad. I mean, it's scale wisely, customer success is the key, innovate continuously, mindset and persistence. Cool, not bad. Let's ask it something specific. How do I make my business more profitable? Oh wow, now it is much better. Improve customer onboarding, just like Hormozy emphasizes. The first 24 hours after a sale are crucial. Make sure your customers feel valued and informed. Outline the journey. Data-driven, analyze your sales data. Look at your show rates, close rates. <laughs> this is awesome. I love this because he it has pretty much taken the data from I made 6 million in 60 days, these two documents. So yeah, now our Mozi bot or Mozi micro bot is kind of ready. And I think if I keep uploading more and more knowledge files, the answers will be much better. So yeah, there you go. So this is how you create a custom GPT trained on your data. Now the applications of GPTs are literally limitless. This is just the start. You can use your competitor's data. You can use some influencers data to get their knowledge out and get very specific advice without watching a whole lot of content. And if you still want to create a hundred million dollar offer without uploading all these documents up to chat GPT and figuring out all on your own, I have created this video which covers exactly how to create a Grand Slam offers for yourself with the step-by-step -step prompt on GPT. So go ahead and check this out and see you in the next video.